Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Always, and welcome back to Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved Expert Mode Skyblock. In the last episodes, we've been working on trying to get the demon invasion, and I feel like last time we did a little bit of other things. Uh, I know we did some research, I did a lot of that, um, which makes me think we did something else. I don't remember what we did. Oh, right, I remember what we did now. We went through the uh, Eldritch Dimension. We, we fought the uh, boss and did all that stuff, and it was fun. Uh, wasn't too bad. So we got our first Primordial Pearl. So real quick, I want to just point out that I made something off camera. Uh, I made this Alchemic Cleanser, which the recipe is just some simple catalysts and quartz rods. Pretty easy. Um, this just allows us to clear containers um, in combination with this uh, Alchemic Router. Uh, so as you can see, I've been working a little bit on this stuff, but um, I'm out of blood, which we're going to get to in a little bit. So let's get all of this research. It's going to give us some warp. That's fine. Whatever. At this point, who cares? And there was a lot of research. So let's take a look at the book. So bottled taint. Um... That's all that's there. Eldrick, we got a bunch of stuff. Primal Crusher. Uh, nothing else there. Thomic Tinkering had a lot of stuff with the uh, wand focuses. And there's even more stuff still. So we'll get that research here in a little bit. Awaken Pickaxe. Awaken Tools. Awaken Encorium Tools, rather. Uh, so let's... We'll go through all of this. And then the Eldrick Blood Orb, which is really cool. Primal Scribing Tools, some enchantments, void stuff, lots of stuff that we can research, uh, and a lot of stuff that we might as well. Uh, anything here? No. Okay. So let's grab our scribing tools and our paper, and we'll get the rest of the stuff. So let's just start at the beginning. I think we've gotten everything in most of the vanilla Thomcraft. Uh, I don't know of too many things. There's a couple secret um, research, I do believe, but not really much of anything. Um, most of it is just kind of silly stuff. So we're not going to worry about it too much. Uh, golems. Alright, Eldrick, there's nothing here. Uh, nothing in those two. So we have some more Tinker stuff. So we have Celestial Recall. And the Awaken Accord and Tools. Is there anything else? I wish I could zoom out. That would be nice. Now what's... I've seen... I remember seeing these infused crops. What does this do? Each aspect can create a different type of item. So... It creates imbued grain, which gives you potions. Alright. Not something we care to do. Uh, so... We have some tainted tools to get, some more enchants. I realized that one wasn't actually a uh, wasn't actually a research thing to do. It was just a uh, purchasable. I don't see anything else in there. Nothing in here. Nothing in Thomic Energistics, I believe. Uh, Thomic Esoteria. I don't see anything there and that's that's it so um, I'm gonna put this stuff in here we will do more research for the next episode so um, what is the plan for today well first of all we are going to continue working on blood magic uh, pretty much just blood magic so there's two things with blood magic that we need to kind of deal with um, one is we need more blood which we do have a farm up here but we do get spiders as well and it's usually not too good so we might rebuild this guy yet again for a third time um, for something that's a little bit better. We'll see. Um, because something that the Elder Dimension gave us is amazing. We have access to powered spawners, stabilized mob spawners from Draconic Evolution. This stuff is amazing and it spawns things so quickly. Um, we're going to want it for probably Wither Skeletons. Um, and honestly... Mostly just Wither Skeletons. Uh, we'll get to, to the other one here in a moment. Maybe. Um, but then the other thing 
that we kind of need to focus on is actually getting the demon invasion. So one part of the demon invasion that I haven't really mentioned much about is the fact that we do need, uh, let's see, demon kin, no, it is in the ritual master, in Convocation of the Dam. Uh, so we do need to sacrifice a demon. Uh, so that means we need to summon a demon in to sacrifice it. Um, that is a lot easier than it sounds. Um, it really is pretty easy, but we are going to need some stuff. So uh, first thing I want to do today is we're going to make a portal to a dimension um, to the last millennium. Uh, now this is a vanilla recipe, which surprises me. We have nothing of it. All right, so clock, we're going to need a single clock. We're going to need some carved eminent stone, which requires, we're going to need purple dye. Oh, there we go, purple dye. Um, I guess poppies. Go ahead and get a red dye. Cool. So carved eminent stone, we just need one recipe of that. And then we're going to need some burnt quartz, which just is four quartz blocks, um, smelted up. And that will be pretty quick, especially if we come down here. And, you know, yeah, let's go ahead and put it into the system. Um, that might make other things. So we want to put it in there. Nope, not the pulverizer. Redstone furnace. There we go. Uh, one of these days I will upgrade those guys, but for now it doesn't matter too much. By the way, um, still haven't fixed the farm. I need to fix the farm so that it doesn't mess up, um, so that we get a constant supply. It's currently messed up. Um, I need to fix this. I just need to think of a, a clever way to do it. Um, that's the problem, is I'm not clever enough to figure it out yet. Uh, so, to show you guys what's going on, um, basically... We have f three ingredients, three ingredients, right? Four ingredients. No, three ingredients going into this machine. Um, we have beans, onions, and uh, the tofu. And the problem is, basically, one of those gets filled with either this gets filled with either beans or onions, and that's not good. We don't want that. Um, other than that, everything's fine. So I just need to kind of, I, I need to figure out a way to have, to, to prevent that, like, it, it's a clog basically in the, uh, the thing, but I don't know if there's a good way for me to do that. So. Um, every once in a while I just have to come over here and kind of mess with this. So let's just grab all of these guys, put all of those in there, and then we'll grab a bunch of stacks of onions, and just do that. So I don't know what's going to be the best way to handle this, but... Eh, it'll get fixed eventually. Um, so, that being said, that's really the only thing that's wrong there. Um, we are getting plenty of mushrooms and whatnot from uh, the bottom farm, which is nice. So I just need to fix. I just need to fix that one little hiccup. Uh, and like I said, I'm not entirely sure the best way to go about that yet. And I really haven't given it too much thought to be honest. So it's something that'll get fixed eventually. Um, it does mean that occasionally we will run out of power, which is not a good thing at our base, but whatever. So as you see, I have like no LP in my um, system, so and my my life network. But hopefully we can fix that. So portal of the last millennium. We are gonna put this guy, yeah, you know, right here. And I believe if we just right click it. We go to the last millennium. Now what's at the last millennium? Well, not much. Except for this guy. This guy is incredibly important. Uh, also, I want to light this place up. So, that's what we're going to do. Now, this is a dimension that is specifically designed to basically allow you to, uh, well, basically to allow you to make a void world fairly easily. Um, 
there's not really anything else here other than like a bedrock floor underneath that just so that you don't you know <sighs> murder yourself um so the important thing is the villager so what we're going to do is we're going to grab two things we're going to grab a soul vial worst case scenario soul vial, soul vial will work but we can also grab a safari net uh so let's grab a safari net and hopefully the safari net works but i don't know and that's the only that's the only worry so we're gonna grab this guy haha -ha, safari net does work now why is this important well um it's gonna allow us to do some really cool things and we can get a villager spawner um that would be kind of the ideal uh otherwise i mean we can't make tesseracts we could use a tesseract spawner with a auto spawner and uh just hook up this the essence drum but i don't know if that's going to be the best way i i really haven't decided the best way to go about this yet but now we can get as many of these villagers as we want now the next step the next step is we need a sword with reaper uh we need a reaper five sword and that would kind of finish everything off for us um so that's something we're going to try to get at some point i don't know uh do i have one of these days i'll make another uh, metal former so enchanters are really expensive in this pack um and i don't think we can get uh let's see enchanter oh they're actually disabled um okay osmotic enchanters i don't know how those work we could use an auto enchanter that would be easy enough but i don't think that that would be a good idea either so um and then there's the Disenchanter from Draconic Evolution, which is super useful, which we might want to use. Uh, and that is a way to get a couple of things. Um, but basically, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get a Reaper enchant. And we can summon in a bunch of villagers. And we can kill them, get... Um, you know, I think, honestly, for the villagers... We want to Reaper Enchant eventually because we are going to need Mob Souls. Uh, mob Souls are super important for Draconic Evolution because that's how you change the spawner. Uh, simple as that. Uh, but I don't know if we're going to use this villager to... I, I don't know if we're going to use this villager to get... Um... Let's get another Safari Net, actually. Uh, I don't know if we're going to use the villager to get the... Uh... To get the... To use a... Uh... Oh, Draconic Evolution spawner or not. So it's a gas tier surrounded by Ender Pearls. Um, it might be easier just to go ahead and uh, make another uh, make another one of these guys. And then call it a day. So I don't know how much essence this actually uses. It's not much at all. So let's turn that off. We're going to kill these villagers. They get mad at that, but who cares? Um, so we have another villager. Doesn't really matter. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make another mob spawner. Um, and then we'll set up some test racks and all that kind of fun stuff. So let's go ahead and make two test racks. Uh, so two of these. We're missing signalium nuggets. Uh, so I guess we need to teach the system how to make Signalium Nuggets. Um, which is a shame. That's something that we kind of have to do now because we took away the, uh, storage drawers, the compacting drawers. So we could, you know, put them back, but that's eh, kind of a pain. So Tesseracts times two. Uh, we have everything. Cool. All right, so that's gonna get to work. Now, uh, let's get into the fun part. We want to start summoning in demons. Um, 
We're also gonna need a mob spawner. We'll get that later. Uh, so the demons. To summon a demon, we need an arcane pedestal and an arcane plinth. Uh, and so we need one plinth and six pedestals. Uh, and we are going to be summoning. Oh, uh, where does it tell me where all the keys to the gate? Okay, here we go. Um, we're going to be summoning in a fallen angel. So we're going to need three Sanctus, Aether, Terra, and Tenebra. So nothing too difficult. Um, but we're going to need these arcane plants. We're going to need one of these guys. So we need actually uh, eight arcane pedestals, which is going to require a lot of blood. So you know what? Let's go ahead and... The fans are still on. Let's go ahead and turn the fans off. We're going to break in here. And we're going to pick up all of this dirt. So, uh, spawners are a lot easier to deal with than uh, cursed earth farms. And here's the added benefit. So, when we sacrifice uh, the... When we sacrifice the villagers to the blood altar, um, we'll actually get more blood per, like, kill. So that is a lot better, uh, in my opinion. So let's go ahead and just destroy all of this. Um, we can break all of this. And honestly, we're going to be changing this room up a lot. So... Uh, let's grab everything we can. We don't need lights in here anymore because we're going to be making things a little bit easier for ourselves. And Enderman moved some dirt. Um, I bet, or did I do that? Oh, I hope I didn't do that because I think that's where the spiders are spawning. Okay, so on this side, same thing. Um, so yeah, we just need a lot of blood. And so, getting the test racks, and then we can remake this guy once again uh, to give us more blood should be enough. And then, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna actually have to get a lot more blood um, because we need like 16 million blood in our network uh, in order to activate the ritual for uh, the demon invasion. It is an insane amount of blood, and it's gonna require a good bit of time. So, uh, that's something else we'll do. So let's grab our our wrench. That'll make things easier. Alright, so we're going to want to do something we're going to want to have uh, an on-off switch for the spawner. We're going to want to put it basically right here. So let's go ahead and get some red some conduits. We're going to just put them like this. And it goes right on this guy. So break the lamp, put that there. Perfect. So the way the mob spawners work, the uh Let's see. Let's turn that off. Um actually no, we are going to want that one right there. So we'll put the mob spawner there, and then we'll put the uh, other thing underneath it. So for now, let's go ahead and break a wall into this. Or an opening into this. And let's see. Let's grab a uh, mob spawner. So we can see the area. And then we can get all this stuff going. So mob. Uh, it's called an auto spawner. I should know that. So the auto spawner, we've made this before, should not be too bad. We're going to need some more plastic. That's probably the worst of all of everything. So we need four of these. Um, do we have a bucket? We do. Why is... Oh, buckle. Okay, I was like, why is the primordial pearl showing up when we look at that? Uh, okay. 
So we need some more plastic. This is not a problem. We have plenty of rocket fuel just sitting around. One of these days I might put that into the system, but don't really need to, to be honest. All right, so there is the plastic. Um, what else are we gonna need? Magma creams, all right. One, two. Uh, we need a machine casing. Can I tell the system to make that? Yes. So it will do that itself. And then we're gonna need a Z-Logic controller. So we need Solarium times two, uh, plus the zombie head and all that kind of fun stuff. So um, while we're waiting on that, let's go ahead and sleep. And hopefully we have a test rack. <laughs> um, so what we're gonna want to do, uh, here is an important thing. Uh, we have a test rack over here that is transferring items. Um, receiving items, sending energy. So um, I think we can get away. We just put a test rack over with the other thing. How far along is it? It's making a ton of things. Okay, so it's making the machine frame first. That's nice. Um, so we can get the mob spawner set up. So um, we're going to need our sledgehammer as well. Uh, so solarium, there's the two. We're going to need zombie head. We have a few of those. Uh, redstone and silicon. I think we only need one of those. All right, cool. So we'll just come over here to the slice and splice. That'll make the Z-Logic controller and we'll be good to go. So the arcane plinths, we're gonna need arcane pedestals. We're gonna need like, we're gonna need eight of them. So that's not too bad. So there's the Z-Logic controller. Can throw that in there. And once we have four redstone things, it will be good. All right, so that's just gonna take a little bit of time. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the arcane stuff that we need. So we look in here, swap our armor. Um, let's go ahead and make... Do I not have any arcane stone? Oh, that's, that's a pain. Uh, so this stuff is pretty easy to make. It's just kind of a pain. So let's get couple stacks of that and what kind of I mean order shards order shards are always the best one two three four five so I need one two three four recipes of that perfect um, we're also gonna need some null catalysts which uh, we can duplicate with strength and catalyst so let's grab one of these uh, we're gonna need to do some alchemy so we need blaze powder, magma cream, strength, and catalyst. Blaze powder, magma cream, and then strength and catalyst are what? Too simple with bone meal and uh, redstone, I think it was. Was it? No, nether wart. Okay, easy enough. And those. That'll do its thing. Um, and then we can strengthen catalyst. Perfect. And you know what? Let's do that one more time. How much does it actually cost blood wise? Oh, we might not have enough blood. Uh, do we have more than 25? I can't tell. We do not. So that would actually hurt. Okay. So we have the null catalyst um, that we're going to need. We're going to need to get some mana into these guys. That should not be too much of an issue. Put that back. All right, cool. So I think what we can do, we can go ahead and get rid of some of these windows. Because um, we don't need the dark glass here. We certainly don't need 
we can break this wall. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to see how big of the area it needs to be. Uh, and then we don't need to have the lights um, set up the way they are either. Because, well, we're going we're gonna to change that. Let's take this stuff out. This guy is full, but that doesn't really matter much. All right, so let's do the same thing over here. Uh, and yeah, basically we just need to, we need to just clean up this. Um, Cause like I said, we don't need to do too much in terms of, we don't need to do too much in terms of like manipulating this area to create um, the villager spawner. So uh, just a matter of picking everything up cleaning things up and whatnot. We might need more conveyor belts, but that's about it. So, just do that, cool. Grab that and that can be placed. All right, so, uh, I guess we'll grab anything, nope, nothing fell. All right, so let's go ahead and we do have, Do we not have, okay, we do have a mana tablet. Um, I think we can throw that in there. And if we wander the forest, switch that, that will uh, start draining everything. And we can fill up those guys so that we can activate the, uh, the portal. All right, uh, with that taken care of, let's see. Do we have everything for the auto spawner yet? We do. Do we have test racks? We do. Perfect, so we can start getting um, everything ready. So we can get more blood. That's kind of the more important thing. So auto spawner is going to go on top. Uh, and we'll have to force that connection, I think. Uh, how do I do this? Can I? Hmm. I might need to go get a Yetta Wrench. Uh, then we can put a Tesseract underneath. But that needs to be taller. Hmm. Alright, what's your range? Alright, so that is the range. Um, we can go ahead and place blocks like so. And I already had that. All right, perfect. So if we break this, and go one lower, that'd be fine, right? So if we put the Tesseract here, we'll set it to main, we'll set frequency, um, item mode block, fluid mode, uh, receive only, energy mode, receive only. So that should have energy now. Um, we'll put that in there uh, and it'll be fine for now. Is this, okay, it does have redstone signal, perfect. Now what we're gonna want to do is, <laughs> oh man, um, I wanna break this. We're gonna, I'll change up the lights between episodes, honestly, uh, as long as we can get this to work. So we're gonna want to build a bit of a wall, like so, and we're gonna want to lower this down one. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually break all these guys, and unfortunately, I think we're gonna have these guys showing. Um, should not be a problem, but uh, we just basically need to go down one more level. And then that way the villagers can't get stuck. So I'll put that there. And so we just need to pick up all of this stuff. And then rebuild it basically. Um, one block lower. So this will be fine, like so. 
Okay, so that's what we get to do here. Um, it'll take a second, but we'll get done. Um, and then we can start summoning in the villagers. Uh, so kind of what we're going to be doing from there is the villagers, I believe, give you like 500 or 1,000, whereas uh, I, I think villagers give you 500. Um, passive mobs give you 200, 250. Uh, and then hostile mobs, like zombies and whatnot, give you uh, 100 blood for each kill. Uh, so it's one of those things that it's, it is much better to use, oops, to use villagers than anything else. Um, but you do have to deal with the whole spawning them in or village farm. And that's, that's where the annoyance is. So once we can get this villager farm up and running... Um, we could use fans. We could use all those fans we had, but I think we're going to use conveyor belts. Uh, I think that'll be a little bit easier and whatnot. Uh, a lot cleaner looking as well. Uh, so, yeah, um, that is, that is the area of the spawner. Take a look at this. Is it farther on that side? No, okay. I'll put some glass or something on the front because that'll make it look nice. And we'll just close this up. So I do want to hit F7, make sure there's no darkness. There is down there, obviously. We'll fix that in a little bit. Uh, and we're going to have to break all of this stuff, which means that this will start spawning on... Well, actually it won't, because it doesn't have any uh, any stuff. Uh, essence. There we go. That's what it's called. So we'll do something like this. And you know what? Let's go grab a building one. That'll make this a little bit easier. Cool. So this is also now offline. So we've got to light everything up. It's whatever. Um, actually, this can be placed like so. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. All right, well, it's taking all of my blocks and conveyor belts, but that's fine. Uh, so, there we go. Stop doing that. So I need to do something along the lines of like that. And we can finish this up and make a nice, uh, a, a nice spawning area. Now we're gonna put lights around here for now. Um, like I said, I'm gonna make this kind of look nice, uh, but for now we just need to worry about getting it to be working. Um, so right here, we're gonna have a line going in. And nothing should stop the villagers from falling down the hole with the conveyor belts. Um, and they're going to take a little bit of damage, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we can do one. Two, and uh, let's set up something like that. We'll just push them into one side, and we'll just do that. We'll just uh, rotate it around. So we're going to need a lot of conveyor belts. Uh, we have 54. So that should be close to enough, if not enough. And we can get this working. Um, so just going to be a little bit of time uh, to get this up and running. But once we do, uh, it'll make everything else go a lot smoother. So I can't believe I'm making this yet again. But I kind of forgot about the uh, villager in the last millennium. Um... 
he is super useful and also the only villager in this pack unless you want to cure a zombie uh so we have exactly enough it's like we had this set up before just like this so with that taken care of um villagers in there we just need to get essence and i'm gonna do something like this and we're going to put glass on this so we just need to get the redstone conduits around like so and can we put a torch on this oh my gosh uh let's stand here we can cool uh so let's clean up the area um hopper didn't actually pick up all that much that's kind of nice all right, so we just need to put this stuff away. Uh, I want to grab some glass of some sort. We could use the lumium glass or vibrant quartz glass. That could be good, but I think we're just going to do, actually, mana glass. Nah, let's just do normal glass. Uh, and we'll get this set up, make it look nice and pretty. Um, the glass is more for me to be able to see in. And I might change what it is later, but yeah, because that's ugly. Um, so a uh, smoother glass would be better, but I don't know if I have vibrant glass. Nope. Vibrant quartz glass is not auto-craftable, so we're not going to worry about it. Uh, so we have the null catalyst. We just need a lot of blood down. And in order to do that, we just need to grab this stuff. Uh, we just need to go put the Tesseract over here. And that is getting outputted here. So we'll put the Tesseract just right here. Um, send. Send fluid. Always active. Set frequency. So it should be sending the essence. We should get villager spawning um, once we turn this off. Yeah, I am actually going to break this right now. Uh, I do not like that glass. Uh, so what we can do is we can just grab a chisel. And there's some, some nice options for glass. So 26, does that sound about right? It's three times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So now there's one more piece of glass there it is okay so we can turn this off and we should get villagers spawning hopefully they don't escape while I'm doing this but we just need to grab our chisel and villagers are spawning so let's do quite clear glass from Minderio. I think that'll be nice and we'll just get this set up now, if we want any of these villagers, we can always grab them. It uh, doesn't really matter much. But, oh yeah, that's nice. Okay, so, like, trades, we can set here and do trades if we wanted to. Um, we turn this off. And we can just kill them. And that's going to give us a ton of blood. Let's take off our... Uh, Oh, let's take off this armor. Um, actually, gonna take it out of here as well, and we're gonna put it back uh, over here somewhere. I think in the iron chest. So um, this is going to allow us to get a good bit of blood um, fairly easily, fairly quickly, and that's gonna help me get the 16 million blood that we're going to need for uh, summoning the demon in demon invasion. So yeah, it's it's gonna be fun. But as you can see, we've already got like 14,000, which means I could probably finish this stuff as well. So, uh, do we wanna do another one of these? Yes. Uh, main reason is uh, just to make things easier. So that will do its thing. There goes the blood. Perfect. 
So I'm going to put a single null catalyst in here just in case we need it. I don't know how useful this stuff is. Um, I know we need it for the conjuration catalyst. Uh, universal antidotes. But we can... Yeah, we're going to need a lot of it for the crystal clusters. So that's good enough reason to just kind of have that there. So let's take this guy out. We don't need that right now. Uh, and we need to start getting... It was... Uh, 20,000 blood. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve of these guys. Let's say that is tw 28. 28, 8. So that's not too bad. We can turn this back on. It'll start summoning them again. And yeah, uh, I want to see just how much blood one of these guys gives us. Also, we can get a lot of different things from them if we want. We're, we're just hitting the same guy over and over again. Arrows, whatnot. So I need to get like upgrades and all that kind of stuff on the runes. We also need a lot more ritual stones. Um, but those aren't too terrible to make if we have blood. So um, let's go ahead throw that in there for a little bit and there is our first arcane pedestal so we have how much blood 88 we kill one and that gave us what for uh, 2400 that's not bad So we can just kill all of these guys and it doesn't really matter. If we want more, we can easily get them. And then just start doing stuff like that. Alright, that was way too much time. Um, we are going to get some gold coins as well because of uh, the way things work. Uh, villagers will drop gold coins sometimes on their death. So let's take like half of this back. That's fine. All right, so you also need a good bit of mana. Let's try to throw that in there. All right, cool. So yeah, it's just a matter of time to be honest. Um, we can get all the arcane plants and go from there. So this is going to require us to set up some really interesting things, uh, but let's go ahead and get the uh, let's go ahead and get the plinth. So we turn this guy on. I'm going to go onto the other side. I'm going to throw that in there and that, and we get the arcane plinth. Perfect. And then I'm going to break this uh, so that it turns off because we don't really need it right now. Okay. Cool. So, all we need to do, to do now is kill a bunch of these guys, get a bunch of blood, and call it a day. Um, so, we're going to set this up over here, uh, just because, why not? So, the Arcane Plinth can go right here. Uh, and then, if we look at the book, it'll tell us where the other ones need to go. But we need three Sanctus, an Aether. Let's start working on that stuff as well. So this has enough blood. For two, actually. Um, so put that up there. So we need Sanctus, first of all. Uh, Sanctus. Uh, which is Glowstone, Simple Catalyst, Glass, and Gold Nugget. Okay. Uh... Gold Nugget. We have some. I don't want to use this, so we're going to need three of these. So let's get three of those. Um, is it six Glowstone in total? Yes. And what's the last thing? Glass. Okay. Easy enough. Uh, so three Glass. 
All right, so there's that, that, those two, and that, and then that will make the Sanctus. And we can continue just getting plenty of blood from the villagers. And yeah, I really do think that something I need to do is start upgrading the runes. So runes, we can make uh, speed runes, which will make things go faster. Uh, it does require a little bit of thomium, but everything else is pretty easy. Um, augmented capacity, we're probably not going to want that. Um, runes of sacrifice, we're probably going to want that. It's going to require bune slates and a lot of daggers. Uh, that's a bit of a pain, but honestly, um, we have a lot of capacity. We have a few runes of sacrifice. Uh, I think really speed and um, sacrifice are going to be the most important things. So we'll start working on that and go from there. Alright, so that has enough. We should have all of our Sanctus. So there's the three Sanctus that we're going to need. Now we're also going to need Aether, Terra, and Tenebra. So uh, Aether is Feathers, I believe. Two Feathers, Glowstone, and Gas Tier. Uh, so Glowstone, two Feathers, and a Gas Tier. Uh, I can put that away. And a Gas Tier. Alright, and then uh, Tenebra is what? Oh, uh, where is it? There it is. Um, two coal, obsidian, and clay. Uh, obsidian and clay. And then the last one is ter Terra, uh, which is this one, which is two obsidian, dirt, and sand. Two obsidian, dirt, and sand. So pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Let's grab that. We need to kill a few more. There's 28. Uh, let's just get this up to... That should be fine. Okay. So, two obsidian, dirt, and sand. That'll make that one. Two coal and clay. And then the final one that we need is like so. Cool. Um, so what we need to do at this point is we need to wait on these guys to finish up. Um, and in the meantime, let's go put on our good armor. Actually, you know what? I think having the this armor set in the uh, in the the uh, thing over here is not a terrible idea. But let's just go ahead, do that, put the good armor on, so we can't really die. Uh, and we should be ready to to do this. So, last one. It's got at least 2,000. Okay. Um, and then afterwards, I'm going to put in the Magician's Blood Orb and get plenty of LP. Now, I don't think summoning a demon requires any LP. Uh, that's something I should probably check real quick. And we can't with this armor on. So... Um, we also need to demon, demon summoning and all that. So that tells us how to place all this stuff. And it's getting night, so let's go sleep. Uh, so pretty much we just need to summon a demon, we'll kill it, and then we'll get a crystal thing uh, dedicated to that demon itself. Uh, so that it, it's basically our demon at that point. Um, by defeating him, he will be loyal to us, I guess. Uh, and basically, we can use that later to summon the demon again and sacrifice him for the actual demon block. So it's complicated, yes, but um, 
we're getting close to being to, at that part. It's just kind of also terrifying because the demon invasion is not something you really want to mess around with. Um, they can take over your world. They expand in a thousand by a thousand radius, um, which is not fun. So from here we go here, here. One block, then here. One block, then here. Like so. Put the torches like that. So that is the um, thing set up. Now, uh, some of the demons. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, so first tamed demon. This is a lot of, there's a lot of story in this. Pale blue demon shards. Nope. Wandering knights. Um. Where was it? Keys. Yes. All right. So does this have the arcane needs to have at least a master blood orb to work? Okay. So I don't think it matters, but we're going to hopefully not die here. Put that in there. Kill the rest of these villagers. And that'll give us plenty of blood. Uh, so let's put the armor back on. And we need to put the master blood orb in the center. Air, Tenebra, Terra, and three Sanctus. And it will immediately start summoning the Fallen Angel. So this guy should be pretty pretty easy to be honest. Um, we can fly and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, and he's dead. Alright, so we get this awesome demon crystal. And now we can summon him anytime we want. So that is literally all we had to do. Um, but that was super important. I, I swear. Uh, so, from here on out, I am going to work on getting the demon stuff ready, um, upgrade the altar and all that kind of fun stuff, get plenty of blood. Um, we have 31,000. We need 16 million. It's going to take a while. I'm going to get plenty of uh, rune upgrades and all that kind of stuff. And next time, I don't know if we're going to do the demon invasion or not. Um, it depends on just what I can get done and whatnot. Um, we might work with bees. Um, industrious queen. We lost the industrious queen. Uh-oh. Uh, do we have any pristine bees? Ignoble. We have a forest pristine. You know what? That's fine. So what we have to do now is just this. We're going to breed it together, and eventually we will get a pristine. We have a pristine here, so it's just a matter of time. Uh, now one thing we can do is we can try to get the proven frames from the uh, the villagers that we've been kind of summoning um, and that might help us a little bit but we'll see so as you can see we are still pretty far away from having this but um, we'll get there and then we'll be able to get uh, through all the B stuff um, a little bit faster and hopefully things will be great so uh, I'm going to end the episode off here we might do demon invasion next time we might continue working on something else I don't know we'll figure things out but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you guys in the next one bye